Hello, everyone. My name is Oliver R. Tingling, and this is Level Up Your Digital Whiteboard. I'm very happy to be here with you all today, and I'm very excited to help get your learn on with all of these Kami tools that, and the digital whiteboard that I'm about to put you on to. It's an amazing type of thing, and let's figure out who am I, right? Who am the guy, who is the person that is delivering this wonderful presentation towards you right now? So again, my name is Oliver R. Tingling. It's kind of like me embracing the whole Michael B. Jordan or Courtney B. Vance thing. This is something about the middle name thing now. So get used to that, Oliver R. Tingling. I have uh, born and raised in the Bronx, New York. I went to Franklin and Marshall College in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And then that's when I decided to jump into the world of education. And I am teaching sixth grade transitional math currently, algebra one, algebra two. I'm now teaching physics to freshmen. And as of late, I've taught statistics to seniors as well. I have been a Kami user since December of 2019, kind of when the pandemic was kind of getting started. We needed to start thinking about different ways and solutions of how to show the math solutions, how to go through math problems while students are at home learning remotely. I had the opportunity to present at Cami Connect uh, back in 2021, and I had done build how to build your best Cami classroom. So whenever you get a chance, definitely check that out, how to build your best Cami classroom on YouTube. It is hot fire. Bring in the fire. I am now the uh, founder and president CEO of Sharks Online School. It is a tutoring business that I started a few years back um, and more so when the pandemic started uh, to be able to provide one-on-one -on -one, uh, experiences with people who wanted to learn. So whatever it's math, it's English, all of the, 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 of the different subjects that we do offer, Sharks Online School is here to save you, SOS. I have been involved in education now for over seven years and I've been loving it and I've been enjoying it, especially uh, doing things like the, the things that I'm doing right now, being able to present and tell everybody how cool these education tools are. So with that, I wanna tell you the purpose of why we're here, okay? The purpose of why you're here is that we are going to be learning different ways of how we're gonna use your Kami tools to help fit in within your educational journey uh, to help create fun and engaging digital whiteboards that all of your learners, whether it's students or it's other adults, can be able to use anywhere in the world. Now to me right there, guys, that, that's, that's hot fire right there. Bring the fire. You extinguish the fire for me? Thank you, appreciate that. So let's talk about the benefits of having a digital and interactive whiteboard, all right? So ways that we can level up your digital whiteboard is the fact is that you can teach literally from anywhere in the world. You can extend your student learning beyond the classroom, which means I can be at a local um, coffee shop, I can be in the movie theaters, I don't know why you'd be at the movie theaters, I could be at, I could be on the road. I could be going from meeting to meeting and I can go ahead and work on my digital whiteboard. Students can work on their digital whiteboards as they're you know, collaborating with other students at their, at their homes. It doesn't have to just be within the classroom. You can encourage, we can encourage student led sessions. Um, and I'll show you an example of what that looks like. I now, you know, with my students now, my students have the ability to just kind of work on a, a whiteboard on their own with some, with some light prompts as well. I can still be there for them or you can still be there for them in regards to giving personalized feedback and to be able to stay connected with all of your students by way of leaving voice comments or video comments, screen sharing, any specific thing that you would want your students to know about. You know, you don't have to wait until the, the start of the week to be able to get that information. You can work on your things over the weekend. Now, think about, I know you guys are thinking about this now, but like, how can you get Cami on to your computer or your device, right? How can you do that? What are the ways you can go about doing that? So the way you can do that are two different ways that I wanna to suggest to you all here. The first way is by way of the Google Chrome extension. So if you are a Google Chrome user, you can actually go ahead and open up Google Chrome, type in the Google Chrome extension uh, in the search box, 
and you'll be able to go ahead and get the Google extension onto your device here, onto your web browser. The old fashioned way is to just go on www.cami.app and it'll take you there as well. So let me just show you really quickly about what that looks like. So when you go to search for your, your Cami extension, well, there you go right here. You can just literally type in Cami extension and it'll take you to where you need to be, Cami for Google Chrome, and then boom. You download Cami right from there and then you'll get that nice little K right there on the side. It takes us to the dashboard. So within the dashboard here, as you can see, there are a lot of different options that you can choose from. And we're gonna talk a lot more about what those options look like, but those are the ways that, can, that you can go ahead and it'll take you right into Cami. So burning question, how do I create my digital whiteboards within Cami? So let me show you how. So first off, again, opening your web browser, you can either click on the Cami extension now or you can go on cami.app uh, on your web browser or tablet to get on there. And you can just click on the option for new blank page. There's different types that you can choose from and you can choose the amount of pages that you want. Let me show you what that looks like as well. So going on here from the Cami dashboard, uh, as you can see, there's all of these different tabs that you can choose from. First of all, shout out to Cami for creating this new dashboard. It is so good. Um, going on to the new page, like I always talked about, you can create one page, you can create a thousand pages if you need to for your digital whiteboard. You can have a blank page, you can have a line page, you can have a grid page, you can have a music page if you wanted to as well. You can have the orientation be portrait style, you can have the orientation to be in landscape, is really what you feel is gonna be comfortable for you and your students. So let's show an example of a grid page you see here. One of the things I wanted to show you is that if I wanted to add more pages if I need to, I have the ability to add more digital whiteboards if I need to, I can add one, I can add a thousand more pages, I can change the orientation again, and I can change the type of page even though if I have a grid page, the next page, all right, it's gonna be blank. Boom, got it all done right here within Cameo on how you can uh, get through with that. So here's an example of how I've used my uh, digital whiteboard and created um, a really great simple interest worksheet. I grabbed a couple of interesting points that I put into one worksheet. And you can see there students uh, have the ability to write directly onto that worksheet that I've created. They can create their own notes based off of the videos that I've embedded onto the whiteboards to kind of help with the student to get their learn on as well. So with these notes, students can write their notes. They can uh, write down any ideas that they have during the time. If they're confused about something, they can go ahead and write it right then and there. And I also try to give stickers for encouragement uh, as well, you can see there, you rock, excellent work, top notch. Uh, some other examples that I have going on here uh, that I really like with the digital whiteboard is the ability for students to be able to use different colors and be able to use their drawing tools to really bring their information to life. So as you can see there, uh, work is explained, work is run down, and you can also see that they like the color thing, that they colored in uh, some of the work as well there to kind of show off some of the height or the distance, things like that. Another example here is you can use it as students have created study guides for themselves. So students have gotten into groups and they have uh, worked on absolute values and equations and inequalities and the students were able to use the shape tool and the drawing tool and the arrows to be able to kind of create a really nice and smooth looking uh, type of uh, worksheet or work study guide for themselves, which is a great thing as well. So again, talking about these digital whiteboard benefits, all right? First off, all your work gets saved. You don't have to worry about like losing the work because it gets saved onto a Google Drive or if you wanna set it to OneDrive, you can set it out there as well. But all the Cami sessions that you've had all year long, it's there. All right, we're not worrying about erasing off the whiteboard and you know, in case the, the whiteboard gets messy or if a student was absent, you don't have to worry about a student missing out on that work. Um, it's all right there on that shared digital whiteboard. So let's talk about what does a digital whiteboard setup look like in my classroom per se. So the things that I need in my digital classroom, in my whiteboarding sessions, of course, is my pixel book you see right here. I have my pixel book, I have my Pixelbook pen, 
that I can uh, that I can uh, be able to draw directly onto my Pixelbook computer. I also like to wirelessly project my work onto the computer, as you'll see some of that um, th throughout the session here. I have a Google Chromecast that I can wirelessly cast onto the Google Chromecast and it projects out onto my projector and my whiteboard. And of course, lastly, I need to have some really excited students that's here and ready to learn like you are. So another question that comes about, what type of cami tools do I like to use or utilize the most while I'm whiteboarding? So you can see here, I've created a digital whiteboard uh, for my students. Uh, this is a graffiti wall, and this is actually one of the great cami templates that I'm taking advantage of and using. It's really, really great. But some of the things that you see here, um, I like to put questions on there. What is the name of the topic we're going over? I like to have some questions for students to go ahead and answer while we are um, here doing our work. I also leave, I also like to leave a little message for my students in case the text doesn't work out too much. I like to leave a voice comment on there, video comment. I will use the text, text box to go ahead and write down or type out the instructions that I also need as well. But let's talk about that drawing tool, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a simple line. And as you can see right there, that line is not the straightest line at all. But with the help of me using the shift key and holding on to it, I can create a much straighter line, as you can see right there. Uh, the other tools that I like to take advantage of is the equation tool. Some of my students do not know how to write out some of those symbols or type them out. So I ask them to actually go ahead and say, hey, if you want to do infinity and you, you, know, you have a hard time, I like to do like a sideways eight. Uh, hey, if you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and also put those symbols in there. And there is quite a number of symbols that you can choose from, um, not just uh, sigma or infinity. The shape tool. I like to take advantage of the shape tool to remind my students that they need to box their answers whenever they're finalizing things, or if there is something that's really important amongst this very really large document, I like to have the shape tool to just let them know, hey, focus on this right here. So you can see, I can just drag, I can grab, I can draw circles, I can change the color, colors on all of those things. So there goes another circle again, here goes a rectangle that you can see here, and I can just change the shape or shift however I need to shift. I can also hold on to the shift key as well and I can have a very straight uh, looking type of box as well. So with the markup tool, one of the things I really suggest is having a PDF document on here. So it gives you the ability, so let's say if you're reading like a, a bunch of text and you wanted to highlight something, you have the ability to go ahead and use this text highlighter and you can actually drag over the text that you want to be highlighted and it'll highlight the information for you. Oh, you want that in a different color? No problem. Let's go ahead and drag that over, puts it in a different color for you. Now you can also freestyle it like, you know, what most people like to do, but you know, everybody doesn't have the, the greatness of drawing out, highlighting in a straight line. I've never seen anybody that's done it uh, super perfect before on that. So good luck to you on that one. There's also box highlighter. If there is a larger amount of text that you want to highlight and you don't want to individually drag and drop on all of them, you can just literally put it over what you need to be put over and it'll highlight that entire part. There's also strike through, which allows you to, if you didn't want a student to work on a particular problem, you can just drag it over and it'll strike it right through. And of course, the same thing with the underline tool. The other tools that I really like to take advantage of is the sharing and, or the collaboration tool because it really allows me to then share out the document and we can actually create that, that whiteboard. So by me clicking onto the button, share document, I have the ability to have a link generated for me. I can copy the link. I can put the link down on any of the learning platforms that we're using or I can email the link to students or my colleagues. I can restrict some of the tools that, are, that need to be used during that time so that way my colleagues 
or my students can stay focused on the tasks that we are talking about currently. So it is something that I definitely would recommend you doing because this, this is the first way to get started on creating that digital whiteboard. You got to share your document. Let's talk about some of the other tools that I use while I'm whiteboarding. So I talked to you a little bit about the drawing tool. All right, I have my Pixelbook pen right here. Equation tool, because I work with physics and, and I also work with mathematics. So in all those, we need symbols that we need to use. I like to use the add media tool, as you saw earlier. I did post some videos on simple interest. All great tools uh, that I've utilized during my time of using Kami and teaching the students how to use these tools as well. Very, very, very good stuff um, and very helpful as well. Um, you'd be surprised to see how much of these tools that you actually are gonna need until you actually start playing around with these tools and these different features here within the digital whiteboarding session. So now, you're excited, you're pumped, you're feeling like you're ready to level up some more. We haven't seen fire in a bit. Let's bring the fire back. <sighs> yeah, fire. So now, we have kind of gotten to the end here. The level of excitement is up. I know you're pumped. I'm pumped as well. So let's just summarize what we discussed. So the use of being able to level up with your digital whiteboard within Kami here is that you're gonna have the use of more digital whiteboards. Right? You're gonna encourage your students to wanna create whiteboards and you're gonna be using whiteboards. You're not gonna have to worry about wasting the, 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 the current whiteboards that you, that you have here in the classroom. And you know those, goals, those go bad ever, uh, after a certain period of time. There's more room for collaboration, which is a great thing as well. More students will feel encouraged to work with each other. Other colleagues feel encouraged to work with each other. You're saving valuable time and paper which is another great thing for the environment. You can use Kami on most of these computers or mobile devices. You have personal feedback with the voice comments and the video comments and the screen captures, which is also a really great thing. And of course, lastly, encouraging all of the tools that will help empower your students and anybody here that's learning about this awesome whiteboarding experience right here. So with that, you all, I have come down to the end of the session. I really hope you all have gotten your learn on today. It was an amazing time uh, that I've had uh, to spend with you here during this session. So if you wanna see me or uh, share, with any, share with me any cami whiteboarding tips that you may have yourself, please bring them to me at Sharks Online School with the hashtags cami connect, hashtag whiteboarding tips as well. Thank you so, so much, Cami, for bringing me in here again. Thank you all for listening to our session. I hope you have a great time. Listen to all the other sessions as well. They're great. Can't wait to see what they're dealing with as well. You take care, y'all. Have a great time.